What can I say? I like mechanics. Nothing feels better than scoring a sick goal. The beauty, the cleanness, <laughs> the tingling sensation in my toes can only come from one thing in this game. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Mechanics, precision, offense. Yup, I'm addicted to scoring nice goals. But no longer, okay? Defense has stolen my heart and will forever be a part of me because there's only one way of ranking up in this game, man. And that's by having a good defense so you can have a good offense. I don't know where this intro went, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Today's video is all about defense, all right? And we're gonna be talking about how you can improve your defense for season three. Season three is about to start and hopefully it's gonna be your best season so far because you're gonna implement what I'm talking about right now. Yeah, I'm coming, puppy. Don't worry. Okay, so first things first, get back his mod. If you haven't already, dude, get back his mod. All right, do yourself a favor, link down below. Press F2 as soon as you've launched it, and uh, there we go. Scoot on over to plugins here and click on Defender plugin. All right, now let me tell you guys a little bit about this plugin before we start it. Uh, shot speed, that's basically how fast the shot's gonna come in. So if you put this one down here, the shot might be really slow or it might be really fast. All right, so I like to keep these uh, pretty close together. I don't wanna be surprised by the shot speed. That sort of screws me up. Mainly, I gotta focus on a little bit of uh, harder shots. So I'm gonna bring these way up here. And uh, cooldown time, I like to have that pretty consistent as well. Uh, but you can do really whatever you want. So I like to keep the cooldown time at roughly the same. So we're gonna keep it right there. And we're gonna click start. So from here, I'm gonna dive into training, free play, boom. It should be starting. Actually, I don't know if it starts unless you're in training mode. Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's click start, there we go, and uh... Okay, so as you guys can see, the shots are coming in now. So I'm gonna clear this, I'm gonna try to reposition myself and get ready for the incoming shot. That was a freaking bang. So I'm gonna sit right here, I'm gonna try to save this. Not really on target, but I really gotta focus on my recoveries here and make sure that I get back into net in time for the next shot. So you see, I'm really just focusing on my recoveries and trying to keep this, uh, uh, that was a fail. Try to keep the ball out of the net, man. There we go, get it out of here. So what I recommend is having it shoot pretty hard shots and keep unlimited boost on. And also what you can do is you can turn off unlimited boost, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute after I get a few of these saves going here. You can turn off unlimited boost and then you should probably you know go into the thing here make it a little bit easier because we we're gonna have a limited amount of boost all right so we we turned down the shot speed a little bit there and now we'll reset it and as you can see I only have 45 boost so I got to be really conservative about my boost and this is by far one of the best trainings you can do all right let's see if we can get a good run here that's not a good start let's see so I gotta save that, and I gotta recover, position myself so that I can save this next shot. Keep in mind, I don't know where the shot's gonna be, so I just gotta sort of position myself and learn where to position myself in certain situations to have the best chance at saving the shot. Right here, I'm really screwed up. Luckily, that shot wasn't on target. I'm gonna try to get that boost pad. Ah, the boost pad wasn't enough. <laughs> this is another good thing you can practice, is, um facing the goal and trying to save the shot that way. So right here, I'll be facing the goal. Ball's coming behind me because in 1v1s, more often than not, you're not gonna be in the goal to save the shot. You're gonna have to come uh, from like a shadowing position. And that's why facing the ball with your rear, just like this, is really good practice because it makes you ready for flicks and stuff if you're shadowing the ball. Man, let's see if we can get a good run here because so far I've just been talking. I need to focus up. That's one. Let's go up on the wall here, because I got a feeling it's gonna be a high ball. There we go. Let's not go on the wall for this one. I like to go on the wall if the ball is in the corner, but if not, then I try to stay on the ground. It's just, you learn this as you practice this uh, plug-in. Here I'm gonna try to recover super fast and maybe pre-jump, because I was really slow on that recovery after that, after that save there. All right, we're doing pretty well here. See if we can get a few more. 
Make sure that one doesn't go in. Let's try to face this ball like that. Okay. Let's get a little touch away and see if we can save this one. This one's going to be difficult. Ah, oh, never mind. That was pretty easy. And here we go. So, if you practice this for like 10 minutes before you start doing your 1v1s, holy Christ. Then I'm telling you, man, you're going to get so many saves when you start playing. And uh, it's no longer going to be a game of most goals. All right. It's going to be a game of how many saves can you get and still score some goals. And it's actually really fun. This game mode is addicting as hell. So the takeaways for this video is really just, first of all, give this a go. All right. Try to warm up doing this. Also, mix up your play style. All right. If you've been stuck doing defense, do some offense. Try strengthening your weakness. Uh, if you're like me and you barely practice defense and you're very offensive, do this. And, uh, you know, I think you're going to see a big difference in your gameplay. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to pop a like and subscribe. This was a little bit of a different type of video, so let me know if you enjoyed it nonetheless. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.